This WordPress tutorial by Mark McLaren of McBuzz Communications is called How to Make Menus of Links Using the Blog Roll in WordPress Part 2. It's a continuation, uh, as you may have guessed by the Part 2 in the title, of the preceding tutorial where we talked about and showed how to create um, a new category in what's called the blog role or these are lists uh, you know of links basically or menus of links and it's called the blog role in WordPress um, because it originally was uh, you know something that bloggers did having a list of links to their um, friends and compatriots uh, in the blogging world but now you know it, it, you can use this for a lot of different stuff and that's what I want to show you in this uh, second part of the tutorial about the blog role is that you can create other lists of links they don't have to be to sites you know that are off of your website you can use it to create a little menu of links um, to pages within your own site and if you think about it it makes sense but you may not have have uh, thought about it uh, until now so as you can see I have uh, three categories here blog role favorite links and great websites and all of these links go you know off of the site um, itself which is business blogging 101 by the way brought to you by McBuzz communications and um, what I'd like to show you now if I can do it uh, fairly quickly well I'll, I'll do it this way okay um, I've already got great websites set up here maybe I'll just leave that as is um, we're gonna go into the dashboard under blog roll which I've got blown up to a size uh, 3700 um, and okay let's think about it like this I have my add link uh, window and I can put in a name for that link and an address now the address can be on my site itself so if I go to any post say or page um, I can go and grab the address I could do it a couple of ways I can you know right click or on a uh, Mac control click and get that um, contextual menu and I could say um, copy link location that's what it says here on a Mac you know copy the link or uh, so I could do that or I could go up to the uh, web address window of the browser and just highlight that whole thing which you can't really see but take my word for it um, highlight the entire URL for the page that I'm looking at right in my own site and hit uh, command C now I have that link and I'll go in here to my add link uh, window for the blog roll and I can paste it right in it's quite long but that's fine no no problem and I would give this a title I can go back out here and say uh, it's WordPress tutorial how to position an image right so whatever I want to put there say um, position and oops, image okay and the description would also be very useful here but I'm not going to do it um, for the sake of time but you should always put that description in make it very detailed uh, because this is a link pointing into your own website from perhaps from your home page or in this case it's it's from the sidebar so it's on every page and that is good for your search engine ranking um, now wh since this is a, a new list I'm gonna call this you know um, image or maybe just tutorials okay the whole site is tutorials but just this is a, this is a tutorial so for illustration purposes uncheck blog roll there I'm, I now have tutorials checked okay I've got my uh, link pasted in from the page from the address of the page that I want to link to or in this case a post uh, sorry you could do either one and I click on add link and hopefully this works back out and refresh this page and see what we get there 
So now I have, I mean, tutorials is not a helpful title. It's like, okay, tutorials of what, or, you know, so give it, give it a better title than that. But um, as you can see then, I could add as many links to posts or pages that I want here. And um, I, in, a, in, a, in one of my next tutorials, I'll talk about how you can create, you know, a list of links here to additional pages that are not maybe part of your main navigation. Say you want to have a, a set of pages um, that's separate from your main navigation, you can create that using your blog role. But at least in this case you see how it's possible to, um, using the blog role, create, I'm going to look at the manage blog role tab here, okay. Um, here is my category which is I'm blowing it up really big um, position and image okay that's that's the the name of the that link and then um, tutorials is the category that those are under so I can add many more links as many as I want to posts or pages under the tutorials category and that will sit out here these are links to pages within my site uh, so that's a handy way to create additional navigation that you want to maybe keep separate from the main navigation that you have here, the home about contact us type of pages in WordPress.